Hi everyone, well I'm at the Australian Museum in Sydney and this is the Long Gallery. Um, isn't this old school, it's just awesome. It's like a scene out of Jurassic Park, you expect dinosaurs to suddenly fall through the ceiling or something. Um, but this is, uh, this level is a great display on birds and it's fantastic. Now I'm not going to go through and narrate it all, there's so much here. I'm holding this vertically because um, I'm just going to film the whole thing so you can have a look, maybe pause and have a look, but this is just wonderful, just love it. Okay, so let's go through. Um, hopefully there's not too much reflection. Everything that's here. So this is all anatomy, different beaks. Aspect ratios of wings are important. Tell us about uh, what type of flight they have. Anyway, I'll just go Mommy. through. Mm -hmm. Come on, this way. Yes, yes. Mommy's got very Here's the grebe. Look at this. <laughs> that is one fat penguin. Wow. Big petrol. <laughs> So here we have the white ibis, they are um, quite adapted in Sydney as well. Showing uh, the breeding plumage here with the red marks under the wings. Yeah, the park just opposite the museum here, there's lots of ibis in there. Famous red goshawk. Here you go, Mick. <laughs> Man, this is just such a good display. Uh, top of pigeons looking a bit sad there. Wow, look at that turn, isn't that beautiful? School group down here. Good old parrots. Australia and South America have the world's highest diversity of parrots, which suggests these birds may have originated in Gondwana. Interesting thing there is uh, South America has more species, but we have more genera. So they've been in Australia for longer, adapted to more environments. So they're more diverse, even though there's more species. The level of um, Diversity or evolution hasn't got as far as uh, as many different genera in South America, so they've been here longer. Basically, um, there were there's three distributions of parrots around the world: the basically the Asia, African, uh, South American, and Australasian. So they started here and spread out. Anyway, enough of that. Keep looking. Hey, we do have a Paradise Parrot here. Oh man. It's just... Oh, okay, there's one of Cyril Gerard's photos. It's just so sad looking at some of this stuff. But it's just great, it's on display. Kids are loving it. Wow. 
Bowman, and I speak Channel Bill Cuckoo. You can see the groove in the beak there while they're called Channel Bills. I think everyone loves corny frog mouths. So here we're into the songbirds. Kazarines, the largest bird order in the world, about half of all the world's birds. Kazarines. And you know, as great as it is, like this is a fantastic display and resource, but Nothing will ever be as good as seeing these birds in the wild. Oh, wow. It's a yellow wattle bird. Oh. Uh, one of them was posted on Bird Bites the other day. Great, great photo. It's a lot more livelier than this poor one. Starlings, what a shining starling. The metallic starlings um, are such good value. Look at the video I did on them on Bird Boss. Jesus, they're so funny. Introduce pests. Not their fault, of course, but anyway, they're here. A famous coat hanging nest made out of wire. <laughs> and a chip with a seagull. A seagull with a chip. I should say. Anyway, just a quick look around the gallery here. Um, hope you enjoyed that. See ya.